In this video, I will show you how to fix Baldur's Gate 3 Vulcan Error 2024. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are encountering a Vulcan Error while trying to play Baldur's Gate 3, this can be due to several reasons, including outdated graphics drivers, incompatible hardware, or issues with the Vulcan API itself. So what we're gonna do is go through some steps to troubleshoot and hopefully fix this problem. So the first thing you want to do is check your graphics drivers to make sure you have the most up-to-date drivers for your PC. To do that, what you're going to want to do is open up a new internet browser, come across to google.com and then basically, say you've got like an NVIDIA graphics card, you would just simply go ahead and type NVIDIA drivers into the Google search. Now you would do this process as well if you've got like an AMD card, but what you wanna do is locate the driver download page. What you can do then is check for any available updates for your current graphics driver. To make sure to download and update your graphics driver to the latest software to avoid any potential issues, and then try to run Baldur's Gate 3 again and see if you can play it successfully. Now, you also want to make sure that your Vulkan runtime libraries are up to date. Generally, these do get installed with your graphics card, so if you do go ahead and update your graphics drivers, this should in turn update your Vulkan runtime libraries. Now, if that didn't work for you and you're still getting a Vulcan error, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is verify the integrity of the game files. So to do that, what you're gonna to want to do is open up Steam and come to your games library. From here, you want to find Baldur's Gate 3 in your games list. On this particular account, I don't currently have Baldur's Gate 3, so I'm just gonna show you how to do this using Terraria. So what you would do is okay to Baldur's Gate 3, right click, and then come down and click on two properties. So what that's gonna do is bring up a window like this, and if you come to this menu on the left-hand side, you wanna click on to installed files. From here, you're gonna see an option to verify the integrity of game files. So you wanna click on this and what it's going to do is check for any corrupted or broken files and attempt to repair them if it does find any defective files. Now once you've done that again try to launch Baldur's Gate 3 and see if that fixes the problem. If that didn't work another thing you can try is changing the graphics API to DirectX 11. So to do that you want to launch Baldur's Gate 3, go into the options and video options and you want to change the API to DirectX 11. After doing that restart the game and see if that fixes your problem. Another thing you can try is lowering the graphics settings just to take the pressure node off your hardware and stop any errors from occurring. So when you're in Baldur's Gate 3 you want to go into the options, video options and and basically lower the graphics down to the lowest setting to see if that does resolve your problem. Now, one final thing I would recommend is to make sure you're running the game as administrator. So what I'm gonna do is use Bluestacks as a example, and what you would do is find Baldur's Gate 3, right click onto the icon shortcut, and then click onto properties. Now from the properties window, you wanna come up to the tabs at the top and click onto compatibility. And you want to make sure the box is taped to run this program as an administrator and also to disable full screen optimizations. Once you've done that, click apply and okay. And then launch Baldur's Gate 3 to see if that fixes the Vulcan error. Now, if that didn't work for you, the final thing I would recommend is to try a clean reinstallation of Baldur's Gate 3. So what you want to do is come into Steam to your game's library. Then what you want to do is okay Baldur's Gate 3, uninstall this on Steam and perform a fresh reinstallation, which could fix any potential problems, which may be causing the Vulcan error to occur. So that is how to fix the Baldur's Gate 3 Vulcan error in 2024. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.